Hello, I'm James Hamm, Lone Star Dog Trainer here in Dallas, Texas, and I would like to introduce the Garmin Delta SE Remote Collar. And there are several components to the device itself. The first is the handheld, which you're going to carry with you. The second is the dog device, which will go on your pet. You'll have a neck lanyard, which comes with the device, an additional set of contact points with a contact point wrench, a USB-C cord, which is one of the changes to the Garmin charging system, and the dog device charging clip. The collar itself has a lot of nice features. It feels exactly the same wet or dry, so you can use it even if the dog is wet. It's designed to be used even when the dog is in water. On the handheld device, it has 10 levels of momentary stimulation, 10 levels of continuous stimulation, tone and audible sound, and vibration. Vibration has only one level, tone has only one level of volume, but again, with momentary and continuous stimulation, you have up to 10 levels of each one. It can be used right or left-handed. So if it's in the right hand, you'll see how my thumb can move against the dial and increase or decrease. As I see fit, my thumb falls nicely onto the momentary, continuous, or tone buttons. Left-handed, no different. Thumb, tip of the index finger will change your dial. Left thumb, momentary, continuous, or tone. The dog device is an improvement over the previous Delta XC model. One of the biggest changes is the addition of conductive resin or plastic contact points to reduce skin sensitivities on dogs who may have them. On the bottom, there's now the addition of the new collar strap retention bar or shoulder strap that keeps the collar nice and tight up against the body. The power button is located directly between the contact points. And when it comes out of the box, you're gonna have a little sticker that says charge before use. When these come from the box, they are shipped in a low power mode, so they will not work until you charge them for the first time. As you plug them in, your mini USB-C will plug into the charging clip. You'll have two gold discs on the back of your dog device, two gold spring pins on your charging clip. You'll have two female slots that simply snaps on top to bottom as you install the charging clip. When it's plugged into the wall, this light will turn red. When it turns green, it's fully charged, empty to full two hours or less. On the right side of the outer rim, you have your dog switch. It will come shipped in the bottom position, which is dog one. The top position will be dog two. In order to pair a second dog device, you will move your switch from the bottom position to the top position. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press and hold the power button, which is located between the contact points and the top of the, the dog device body. I'm gonna press and hold. I'm gonna hear one beep. I'm gonna hold continuous vibration or tone for five seconds. I'll hear one beep. That means the device is paired. I turn it on and I will test it or perform a functions check with the tone button. If I hear the tone, I'm paired to that channel. In this case, it's the top position on the two dog switch. Let's say that this is the way it came paired and I want to put on the bottom position. Again, I'm going to turn the dog device off and maintain downward pressure on the button. I hear the beep. I press continuous tone of vibration for five seconds. Turn the device on, tone. So if I have two dogs with me, I can go up for dog two, down for dog one. One of the other great features of the new Garmin Delta SE is that it's backwards compatible with previous generations of training collars. So the dog device is compatible with the Pro 550 and the Sport Pro transmitter, along with the Delta and Delta XC uh, transmitters, including the Sport model. The handheld is compatible with the Delta XC receiver. It's also compatible with the Pro Series PT5, PT6, and PT10 units. On the dog device, there are two types of contact points that come with it. Long points, 5 eighths of an inch, which I'm showing here, and then half inch points, which are substantially shorter. The one on the left is for smooth coated dogs. The one on the right is for dogs that have fleshier necks or longer coats. To change the contact points using the contact point wrench, rotate counterclockwise and install the new point.
You would never use it like this with one small, one long, but I want to show you the difference between the half inch point and the 5 8 inch point. That is the Garmin Delta SE remote collar.